Hey, Jimmy, there were a lot of angry people that just left the Phoenix City Council building within the last hour. But more than anger, they're fearful about what's going to happen to hundreds of Phoenix residents that soon aren't going to have a place to live. Now, it is true that the Phoenix City Council, they did vote five to four in favor of approving that two and a half million dollars of emergency funding to help those who are being displaced. But this was a substitute motion, which means that the council didn't vote on some of the other recommendations, including a zoning change for mobile home parks and perhaps most importantly, an 18 month moratorium on all development at Periwinkle Mobile Home Park near GCU, Las Casitas near 19th and Buckeye and Welding Court near 16th and Osborne. For many of those people and those that support them, that means much needed time to figure out what's next is no longer going to be available. I never depended on no, no government, never have, I never will. I have to struggle it out, and I sure will too. Imagine all the people, this is going to continue on and on and on. We're not the first trailers, nor the last ones. You know, they say that, you know, the evictions were to still continued. We just wanted them to, to have empathy for the people. The people needed them to vote yes on that, and that's what should happen here. In the public comment portion of the meeting, GCU student representatives shared information that when it comes to the Periwinkle mobile home, they gave residents more than double the amount of required notice that they would need to leave. In terms of the amount of time that people at these mobile park homes have left, it ranges everywhere from a little over a month to a little over two months. But regardless, the clock is definitely ticking. Live in downtown Phoenix, Elliot Polikoff, Arizona's fan. All right, Elliot.